Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's uh, Thursday, January 20th. Um, I just had a couple of questions today. I was kind of curious on this whole TSA issue. Um, it seems to be that we need to give up our freedoms for protections. It's kind of uncomfortable to go to a public event and be groped and touched and all that kinds of stuff. I uh, was looking right here online and it says this 82 year old woman was humiliated uh, by airport security. She said uh, she was forced to reveal her jail prosthesis during a recent uh, public pat down in uh, Calgary's airport. I thought that's kind of ridiculous, you know, like she went to the scan and uh, they saw the gel packs and they, they started making fun of her and laughing. Like, and if that was my grandma, I don't think I'd be very happy, you know. I'm pretty sure most of you guys out there kind of think the same way, like, if that was my grandma, you probably wouldn't go for that. Um, some of these pat-downs are real intrusive. Some of these people have uh, issues, you know. Many people out there have, have had things happen to them in their lives that would make it so they don't want other people touching them, you know. The whole three feet of space thing, you know, that little box. Stay out of it. <laughs> uh, since when has this craziness gone to the extent where we need to abuse fellow Americans, or not even just Americans, this is happening all over the world, you know, why should we abuse people? It, it doesn't make any sense. You know, I, I don't think it's making the, the situation better by intrusively taking these people down and uh, treating them as criminals, you know. Why are we all guilty until proven innocent these days? I, I thought the good of people should uh, know that better than most. Um, so yeah, I was just curious, you know. What, many of you TSA people out there, do you get enjoyment out of this? I mean, is it kind of like this little weird new thing people are into or something? I, I don't understand it. Uh, I have a friend that's getting ready to take a trip and uh, go out of country, and I have my own disregards to that. I, I'm not too comfortable about them going out of town. You know, who knows what's going to happen. I, ho I hope they're safe and come back home. But she's talking about opting out and... Uh, you know, doing something like that, and, you know, I told her, maybe you should probably do it uh, on your way home, because uh, more than likely, they're, they're going to mess with you, that's just what they do, but they're doing it all over now, people want to say, well, if you don't like it, don't fly, go take a train, well, what about when you go to the train station, they're sitting there, giving you their TSA rate downs there, just leave me alone, <laughs> uh, so again, you know, for you guys out there who uh, have had experience with this, uh, tell people, you know, let people know. The more we get it out there, the better it will be for everybody else who's going to go through the same experience and have something like this. And just don't fly if, if, you know, if you're like most of us. I personally won't fly. I'll just drive. You know, until that gets too intrusive, then it looks like I'm just going to be sitting around and figuring out the next thing to do. So uh, thanks for listening to me ask a couple questions. I appreciate it, and uh, talk to you guys later. Thanks.